How's it going, everyone? I'm Aaron Nick, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. I'm playing as these dudes. This, okay, this is the most intriguing and unintriguing moment of this game. It's intriguing because we switched pace and we're actually like doing this something that seems interesting because because there was this ghost. So there's these invisible enemies that. I'm gonna have to find out about soon. But it's unintriguing because they put me in the position of these two characters that I I rightly don't care about to be honest. Like this guy's cool, he like he uses two blades when he cuts, like but I don't know. It looks like a piece of a manifesto. I, I just can't get excited about these two guys too much because they're just thrown in. Alright. Destiny, and I do not mean to sound flippant is made before we even get get a say and it will in the will of a higher power the impure will not be cursed what the impure will not be cursed that statement literally doesn't even make any sense it is their destiny to be torn apart by the fangs of the hound okay so people don't get cursed people are die for a reason is basically what this guy is saying i can i cannot spare sympathy of the victims of the world they are the ones who created it. It is the same world that robbed the dogs of its bite. No longer will it howl. It will sharpen my fangs. No longer will it roar. I will sharpen my claws. All our comrades are waiting for the time when they may sacrifice themselves to the cause. Only the hounds are pure of purpose. And it is the only thing they may purge the world. Only they who will purge the world. We do not hunt alone, we hunt in packs, we are Veltro. Earl Bravico? Alright. So, Veltro guy writ that. Writ that. Yeah, he writ that. No, Veltro guy wrote that. Uh, is there anything extra in the room? Something to hold me for the 10 minutes I'm playing as this guy? And it's on the video. Horrible wounds. Did I not? Oh, hamper it. Too far to scan. Can I? There we are. He dropped something when he got hit. I don't remember where he dropped it. Um, there it is. Oh, come on. I thought I already scanned it. So I hit the button. Alright, security token. You need security tokens now. Alright, back to another cutscene. I can breach the master network of the plane's onboard computer if I can just extract the web key from this dongle. Is he really explaining this? That means. This dude is he... Is he... We can scavenge the data on that freighter. Now you're talking. Are they really That's taking up time for this? Let's head to the crash site. What the fuck? You gotta be kidding me! That was it! That was... I mean, I might play as those guys again, but like, I didn't... I didn't fire at anything! I did not fight a single enemy, I didn't do a thing. What was the point of even going there? They could've explained that in a quick cutscene. That could've been a... That could've been the whole thing. It was like... I walked down a hallway and got a cutscene. Like, I picked up ammo. What's that sound? There was no point. Back to Jill, I suppose. I was interested. Yes. Like, it's coming from there. Sorry, I have an itchy ear, but I was interested in the character, like not the characters. It's interesting in the situation, not the characters. Then they just gave me the situation where it's just like, like literally all I did was just sit there with these guys for a couple minutes. All right, I need more ammo, as Jill too. Um, oh, there's a handprint. Too far. Can, can nothing be not too far? If I can see it, it's close enough. Uh, Alright, just go through here, I guess. I got I like, I have to use my shotgun, too. Oh, jump in the water. Well, I mean... That's how they're going to cover it up. So this is the water section. There's a lot of vents. The game has me looking at vents, so those are important to note. But besides that, I need ammo. So... 
Or item box. Item box is good. I just want to see what's in, like, in the room. Yeah, rifle ammo. Okay, so I'm going to keep shotgun, rifle, and, oh, well, machine gun's gone because I don't have any ammo for it. This was, uh, there we are. Yeah, this was a good, this was a good handgun. Um, and I'm going to take the part off, the parts off of this because I obviously don't have anything. Quickly throw them on something else. Can't on that. Uh, I can on this. Well, I didn't mean to put the shotgun away. But I probably want to put it on the rifle, because of critical hits. And bye. All right, there we go. So I'm going to be using my handgun sniper for the next little bit, but that's cool. Looks like a lever. <sighs> Am I going to do something with the lever? Could I maybe try and pull the lever? All right, whatever. Looks like a lever. Hold up there. Look at this. All right. I won't go to the next room because you told me to. Now it's locked. It like it, it's appearing as a lock screen. Like the door is open, but it appears as a lock screen on my thing. All right. Cutscene time. Hey, go to the engine room. It's the pacing. I think that's what really bothers me in this. It's not like okay, so you're so you're playing a horror game, and it's the build-up where you're like, oh, wow, this build-up is amazing. When the monsters show up, like it's actually a scare. That's the build-up. That's the glory of like good pacing in a in a horror game. That's when pacing works. When it doesn't work is a situation like this, where I'm just walking through this water. I don't really care about my situation. There's an enemy right there, but I really I could care less. Hello. And where's where's he shooting at? Nowhere. It got him. Oh my god. I, I handled the whole situation by myself. I literally handled the whole situation by myself. So it was this like creepy guy that like... Oh well, that hurts. Steam... The steam will cook me alive. Yeah, I had to get hit first for me to realize that. I, I realized that game. Alright, so I gotta find a way to turn off the steam. Now it'd be interesting if I was actually timed on this. At all because... You know, it's it's rising. The water is rising. But I'm not. It's gonna be like I'm gonna go to this area, hit a button, and that's gonna be like the end of it. Is there another one that way? Oh. Oh. Well, I, I you can't see it because it's in the water. I hate having to shake the thing because. Come on, where are they? Oh, there's one next to me. All right, use that. These things just—it's all just annoying enemies. That—that's all this is—is is just annoyances. Like, okay, that thing's dead. Where's the next one? Like, it appears in front of me. I don't have a chance to hit it, really. Okay, there should still be one alive. Because I think I saw three. Oh, that door opened. Oh, come on. I forgot. You can't just, like, open a door. You have to go through it. Because that looks like ammo. Yeah, it's machine gun ammo. Okay, so, again, machine gun ammo. Nope, I think everything's dead. I think I think he actually did something. Parker, accomplish things. Check in here first. Probably leads to the same room. It does lead to the same room. Put on a different floor so I can grab the customizable part. Oh, uh, it feels like a tour. Like, 
that's, I mean, that's really what I like hating games sometimes. Like, okay, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm actually somewhat enjoying this game. I don't want people to think like, oh, he's not enjoying this game and just playing it. But, I mean, I honestly, truly, like, I'm only getting angry because, and frustrated because I want Resident Evil games to be good. So, hit this. What's this say? Steam Pipe Maintenance Report. There's nothing wrong with them, uh, except for all the cracks. So that's the only problem. One of the covers came off of the pipes in the bilge passageway, and now there's steam pouring out of it. The steam is scolding, so you'll have to do a little wa walk, work around to get it by. In the engine room, there are two levers. One of the Use the levers to match the needle on the meters the proper letters. This will stop the stream from spilling out of the pipes. The letters are corresponding location are the follow A maintenance room, B engine room, upper level, C engine room, lower level. Remember, if you stop the stream from leaking one area, it will leak out of another. Keep it in mind when adjusting the needle. Using Okay, so I can... Alright, here we are. So I can always stop one at a time. Looks like this restart device is but stuck. Okay, so I gotta get upper level down, so... Yep, so upper levels, or no, lower levels good now. Whatever. Can I hit it again? Or is that just gonna turn it off? Yep, so I can only turn one steam off at a time. This little puzzle mechanic is beautiful. Thank you for putting this in the game. Yep, I, I realize this. I, 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 fi I figured that out before. At least I'm already on my way. I like I didn't waste my time just listening to that little bit of dribble. Can I? Okay, there's another room over here. I was gonna say, map. Hey, I got the map of the whole area, so now I can look at the whole area. Right. I'm up here, fight whatever the enemy is in this room, because I know there's gonna be one, at least one. Rifle ammo. Well, they can come out of water, so slightly, slightly out of water. There's a good customizable part over there. I gotta remember that for later. I can't see anything else, so I might just go into the water. Oh, there's something. Lure it out. Or just wait for it, because it goes in a freaking loop. Alright, uh, just another minute. I'm just gonna keep... Uh, get out of the water. There we are. Now get in your little loop. Oh, damn. Got him. Uh, he hit me, but it's whatever. It's alright. I'm fine. Is there really more? How many of these things are there? Fuck. On the bright side, they die in one hit. Alright. What now? Okay, if there's some sign like like if the water moved, that'd be nice, because then I could see where they're at. But no, it's just nothing. It's nothing until they surface. There you are. You're right there. And I have to touch the water again. If you're wondering um, why I haven't healed myself yet, I do have herbs. I think I... Th yeah, there's three on the screen. I'm just waiting for myself to get hurt a little bit worse. Like that. Because I knew that was going to happen. Come on! There's no time! There's literally no time to hit it. Die, fucker. 
All right, I'm gonna check this room real quick. Um, and probably end the video in this room. Is there anything? Oh. Hello. Deal with this guy really quick. He's done. What do we got? Change weapons. Ugh. <laughs> I know it's an og. Okay. So I'm gonna leave my shotgun behind because I have this new machine gun. And I'm gonna end the video right here. New weapons, so. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.